Hello, hola, and welcome to the beautiful San Sebastian. Over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be bringing you with me to try some pincho bars in here in the old city of San Sebastian. I cannot wait. They are famous for their little tapas plate, and it is the gastronomic capital of Spain. So let's get into the video. So I've come to this really cute little bar here in the Gross neighborhood in San Sebastian and I'm here to try some pinch toss today and the place is called Bar Bergara and um, it's not too far from where I'm staying and it was recommended by uh, the hostel that I'm staying at so I've come to try some pinch toss and one of the most famous pinch tosses that seems to be at all of them around town in the old town and also in the Gross neighborhood is a veal or a beef chick braised in red wine sauce if you like meat if you like seafood spain in general is a place to come in in particular the basque country if you're a vegan it might be a bit more of a challenge to find something a lot of the, even the vegetarian dishes are topped with some sort of a meat but that is not a problem for me and let's try this it comes with a some little chippies so I'll try them first they're like handmade little potato chips mm. I love chips so you can't go wrong with that mm. and when this is where it really is at wow guys this is just so I'm obviously just using a fork and it is just pulling apart it's so tender it's so it looks very juicy but we'll see yeah Wow, that is incredible. It is tender, it's juicy, it's soft, and it's got such a good depth of flavor. this really cute little bar in the old town and I don't know how to pronounce it there's a lot of X's in the word so I'll write down the description below but they are famous for anchovies so I'm really excited to try it I got their most popular menu item which I think is anchovies with a spider crab cream on it and it looks really good all right it's a cold I think it's a cold yes it feels cold um, It doesn't have, the cream doesn't have much flavor to it so far, but um, get a look at this. Oh, the toast is hot though. It's been toasted. Um, let's just give this a go, hey? Oh, wow. Wow, I love anchovies, so. That is so good. It's very salty, which I, I really like. With a very strong like anchovy hit. I think there must be like a layer of anchovies on the bottom with the cream on the top. And the cream like, it just offsets it a little bit and gives it a bit of a, a creaminess to it. The cream doesn't really have much of a flavor, but it texturally adds a lot, which I really, really like. And, um, yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. If you're in the region, definitely come check this place out. And I'll see you guys a bit later. So I've just spent the morning at the beach, so don't mind my beach hair, but I've come to this Pinchos bar in the old town called Ganderias. It is absolutely packed. It's the middle of the week around lunchtime and it is definitely a very popular spot. I've had it highly recommended by some friends who I've met here um, and I've also read it in a couple of uh, online blog spots so I'm really really excited to try it. I have ordered a peppers that was stuffed with crab meat 
um, and I might try their cheese risotto with mushrooms as well um, but we'll see but I'm very very keen to try it here and I'll see you guys shortly so I've just got my pepper stuffed with crab meat and guys it smells so good it's got this like orangey sauce with it um, which I think might be a bit smoky I think it's meant to be a smoky pepper not a hot pepper um, and uh, let's let's try this so let's try it with some of the crab first it's very um, it's very soft it pulls apart easily and this this is it here okay Oh, I always drop on myself. Oh my god. That is, it's like a, the crab's almost creamy. It's definitely got a very strong crab flavor, which I really, really like. But I was expecting like shredded crab a bit more, but it's like a, almost like there is little tiny chunks of crab in it, but it's more like, it's more like crab immersion, maybe with some sort of cheese or something like that but it is absolutely divine. Probably the best seafood that I've had while I've been here, to be honest. Um, I've tried some like octopus and things like that, but I mean, I just love crab, so you can't get better, better than that. And this is amazing. I'm gonna be enjoying this for the rest of the day, and then I'm gonna head back to the beach, and I'll see you guys for dinner. So one thing you might not know about San Sebastian is that Mondays, most of the Pinchos bars seem to close, uh, but I've managed to find a place that's open and I've heard that their mini like hamburgers, we call them sliders in Australia, are legit. So I've come here to Bar Sport to try them today. All right, so the moment of truth. It is very juicy and here we go. Oh wow. Mm. It's really good. But it's a lot rarer than I was expecting. In Australia we don't normally get burgers that are rare or even medium rare in the middle. So that was something that I was not expecting. Um, but it is so tender. It's delicious. Chips are, I mean, we can't, you can't go wrong with all the chippies. And all this was only three euros and 80 cents. Perfect start to the day. So I've come to this place to try my first ever pinstos here in San Sebastian and I'm really looking forward to it. I got a prawn dish and I also got like this zucchini and maybe ham style dish. And Give it a go. Look at that. It's dripping with sauce. That's pretty good. Wouldn't write, wouldn't write find it out though. Also, the sangria here in Spain is so much better than what it is in Australia. I can't even describe it. It's like 50 times better. And I'm enjoying a nice big glass. They're very generous with their serving sizes and they're really cheap. It was like two euros and 40 cents for a ginormous glass. In Australia, that's set you back at least ten dollars. So, thumbs up here. So, this is the ham and zucchini on like little bread. Um, so, we'll, we'll give this one a go. That one's really good. That's way better than the prawns. The prawns tasted like they've just been like sitting out, they just kind of reheated it. I mean, they're all kind of sitting out. As you can see behind me, they're all just lined up on this, this tray here, but this one's really, really good. Thank you so, so much for spending the last couple of days here with me in San Sebastian. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see some of the local dishes and the Pinchos bars 
around the city. If you definitely come to San Sebastian, you have to check them out. They're super cheap. They range from about two euros to about seven euros at some of the more upmarket places, but it is definitely worth it. They're divine. Come and get a few and check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in Portugal.